Welcome to Top Echelon TV. I'm Mark Demery. And I'm Drea Cotaspodi. We'd like to start this episode of Top Echelon TV first by giving a shameless plug for the Kansas City Conference, which is going to be next week, March 19th, which is Friday in Kansas City. Barb Bruno is going to be the speaker. Not too late to sign up. We'd love to see you there. Barb is great. Yeah, she's wonderful. And Drea, uh, you, over the last couple weeks, have gotten a number of phone calls on writing job orders specifically for top echelon and split placements, haven't you? That is correct. Uh, a lot of the questions I get regarding job orders is what kind of information is important for me to put into the job order form in top echelon so that they're getting the right information back from their trading partners. And basically it comes down to the, the simplistic thinking of make sure that you have skills, mm -hmm. industry codes, and discipline codes that are all appropriate and very specific to the job order. Also make sure that your position title is relevant and your job description, which is actually the, one of the most important parts. You want to make sure that in the job description, you include the company culture, the job responsibility, and job requirements. I guarantee you, if you have three sentences of, de of description in your job order, those are the kind of quality candidates you're going to get. Not very good. So make sure you're specific and to the point. Yeah, right. And, and, and on to that, Drea, not only if you spend time up front writing a good job order, guess what? You're going to get good candidates on the back end. It saves you a lot of time. That's exactly what you want. And speaking more of job orders, I've had several calls in the last week or so about qualifying job orders. Here's our recommendation on how to qualify a job order uh, for split placements in top echelon. When you see a job order that you think is a good fit, make sure you call the recruiter that submitted that job order and qualify that job order just like you would calling a client and qualifying that client's job order. How long has the job been open? Who have you submitted? Those type of questions and you'll get better information so you can then do a better job finding the right candidates, targeted candidates, Absolutely. and sending it to that recruiter. It also goes along the same thinking of if your client has a website, which most of them do, and they have a job order sh shared to the website of their website, do, they act, do you actually think they're going to take your submissions if you just send them a candidate to a job order that's posted? No, nope, they're going to want you to call them and get to know, know them a little bit better. Yeah, yeah, it's exactly. that phone call that's the magic. Nobody became BFFs from an, e an email. That's true. That's true. And speaking of BFFs, we have a new preferred member in Top Echelon, Kevin Port of High Technology Search out of Bailey, Colorado. He specializes in medical device, clinical affairs, and regulatory affairs. Yeah. And also... Um, well, I don't know. Maybe you forgot to mention this. What did I forget? I don't forget? usually listen to what you say. The conference next uh, Friday in Kansas City, March 19th. It's not too late to register. Barb Bruno will be there, and you never want to miss an opportunity to see her. Yeah, I don't know if I said that or not. I don't know. I wasn't listening. Kansas City Conference next week. We'd love to see you there. And that wraps it up for this week's episode of Top Echelon TV. I'm Mark Demery. And I'm Drea Cotaspodi. Have a great week. Take care.